Hey, this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. And what does a bottle of Coca-Cola and fire have to do with creating a piano sample library? Where well, we're about to find out as we take a look at Sample Logic's cinematic keys. You know, there's a legend that uh, tells the story of Chuck Berry and Jerry Lee Lewis being on the same program. And Jerry Lee Lewis was supposed to go on before Chuck Berry, but Jerry was not going to have any of that. So what he, what he, what, what they said happened, and he, he says that he, he actually did this. He took a, a bottle of Coke and mixed it with some gasoline and threw it on the piano and set that piano on fire. And it was such a spectacular uh, display and he literally played that piano to the ground as it burned. And there was no way that Chuck Berry was gonna be able to recover from that. And, uh, and so today we're gonna take a look at cinematic keys from Sample Logic. And you know, they basically did the same thing. And they, they, they took pianos and set them on fire and uh, did some amazing things with them. Uh, and so we're gonna take a look at that library right now. Okay, so here we have uh, cinematic keys running in Contact 6. Well, if you don't have a version of Contact, you can use the free Contact player that's available. So you wanna open the browser and you'll notice that uh, cinematic keys has instruments and multis. And the instruments are broken down into atmospheres, instrumentals, and percussives. The multis are broke down into construction beds, instrumental stacks, and one note glory. And so we're gonna we're gonna browse through some of these and uh, take a listen to the. Uh, so the first uh, ones we want to listen to. Let's go ahead and and load up the atmospheres. So let's load up an atmosphere here. Um, okay, so we've got ambience and we've got stingers. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's just pick chaotic, chaotic glory. So I'm gonna load this up and let's take a listen. Yeah, so these are like these ambient textures and it's got all kinds of different things going on. Yeah, so let's check out another balance game. Balance game, let's check that out. And these are just to create some atmospheres and textures. That's one thing about Sample Logic that I've discovered is that they're really into creating uh, cinematic textures and textures that kind of trigger uh, different emotions to create different um, atmospheres. And there's so much going on inside of these instruments. Uh, while we're here, let's just take a list, look at these, uh, the center section here. So the center section is just packed full of different uh, filters and you click on one of, the, uh, one of the blocks in the center and it expands to give you more control. Uh, you have filters, LFOs, uh, distortions, uh, wave generators, delays, a reverb section, uh, dynamics, which is like uh, compression, uh, compressor here, EQ, uh, triggers. Now the triggers are kind of cool because they, they're like effects chains. Uh, you have the LFO section and and our, wow, yeah, so that is really cool. That is just like a really cool player and then a mixer that you can mix the uh, different components of the sound together. So let's just go ahead and go through some more of these ambience here, uh, breaking the seal. It just takes you down into these cavernous. Yeah, yeah, cool. Brushing the metal grinds. And there's a lot of atonal stuff going on uh, because you know what they've done with this eight gigabytes of material. They've taken like uh, it's it's like this uh, a warehouse full of uh, keyboard instruments. You've got toy pianos. You've got they've got grand sample. They've got 
uh, all kinds, harpsichords, and they've processed them in certain ways that really uh, you wouldn't normally process. So that you know, like I mentioned before, they, they they've like set set a piano on fire. Uh, they've smashed it with sledgehammers and all kinds of crazy stuff. And we're going to hear some of that once we get down into the library some more. They they put the, their sample logic spin on on things, uh, which means you're going to have some crazy um, treatments of these instruments you know, the ambience and the movements and the textures. And so this is like the foundation for sound design using uh, keyboard instruments. So uh, here's the, uh, the forte. Yeah, so that's a great foundational uh, traditional grand piano here. Now, this is a, an Ebo treatment, Grand Ebo Rattles 1. <laughs> so let's take a listen. Now, if you don't know what an Ebo is, it's a, a little device that uh, has an electromagnet in it and a 9 volt battery. You hold that on the string and it causes that string to create like an infinite sustain. So it's actually bowing that. Uh, yeah, so let's see. It's actually bowing that, causing you to have just a very interesting sound. Okay, now this is the uh, grand piano that they're using a rubber pick, and I, I think this is gonna sound kinda cool. sounds like a like a harp you're almost like you're plucking a harp there okay this is a pick yeah this is yeah so you take a grand piano and play it non-traditionally with these types of treatments And it gives you some beautiful sounds. So all of these just have such um, control over what you can do. So let's just look at the triggers. And the triggers are these effects chains. Yeah. That just engage all sorts of different. And then you have a control over how much mix. Well, this is the overall volume of it sending it through this effects chain here. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very interesting take on these pianos here. Okay, grandeur. So this is like a stacked And that's a big, that's a big sound. Okay. Yeah, so a lot of these I've just not, I've not heard uh, the Dreamer. I'm just hearing some of these myself for the first time. Now that's cool. That's a very nice sound. Yeah, I mean, there are so many patches. Um, you even have synthesizers. It's almost like a clavinet. Yeah. 
yeah. Now that's pretty cool. That's really interesting. It's really kind of nice. Uh, toys, let's just look at the toys here. Childlike piano. Yeah, and they've taken these, they've taken actual um, little child's toy pianos and sampled those. They've also, uh, you know, beat a couple up as well when they're... Oh. And some of these just surprise you. Almost like rug, the rug rats there. That's a lot of fun. That's some fun. It's it just you just hear potential. We've got the Wurlitzer. Yeah, you can adjust these. Uh, That's cool. Lazy phase. Yeah. Check the hit ensemble here. Okay, now we're talking. So this is where they've taken... Yeah, this gets... That just gets really dark and... just gives you material to go into different places uh, crashes <laughs> I tell you you've really got to use your imagination to kind of kind of understand where they're going with these things so let's go into one of my favorite um, parts are the Maltese. And so um, Civilization on Jupiter 2, and we're going to replace that. And this will load multiple instances of cinematic keys. Yeah, this is where... Yeah, so I've found that I've like some of my favorite sounds are in these instrument stacks. Uh, this is called uh, Beauty of the Gentle Kind, uh, the first one. So let's take a listen. Well, that's my but well, well, that's some of my favorite if you if you've watched any of my videos uh, in the past you notice you know that uh, that's like that's just like right in 
right in my neighborhood here. So. Just very nice, very cinematic, well, cinematic keys. and keys oh my <laughs> That is huge. Hybrid keys. <laughs> so it just it's just got all of those stacked. Hyper. I mean, it's so much more than pianos and and keyboard type of instruments. I mean, they take those and then they just go just crazy. Um, the ability to take the different elements of of some of the different. Uh, Patches allows you to create these very unique thick textures. Very cool. hear all of that. It's just unwrapping so many possibilities. And that's, uh, that's just what I love about, um, you know, companies like Sample Logic is that they give you all kinds of possibilities and they give you all of the tools, all of the colors, all of the things that you can do. And they give you the tools to be able to take it and take it places that you never uh, would have thought of taking them before. Well, thanks for joining me today. If it's your first time here visiting the channel, go ahead and subscribe and click on that notification bell. Also, you wanna make sure to check out all the links in the description below to learn more about cinematic keys and sample logic and audio plugin deals. And you know, the next time you think about uh, setting a piano on fire, well, fire up a copy of Cinematic Keys. It's a lot safer and a lot more fun. Mm -hmm.